actually do is to admit uh, evidence of a premeditated murder. <clears throat> she is, however, a constable, and the evidence does not meet the requirements uh, of Section 217 one of the Criminal Procedure Act. Her evidence is therefore impermissible. As far as count three is concerned, the crime is committed when someone unlawfully and intentionally engages in conduct which defeats or obstruct, obstructs the course of justice. Uh, C.S. versus Berger, 1975, 2SA 601 C at 6111 to 6.2. It is common cause, as the court has already said, that the accused disposed of the body of the deceased by burning it beyond recognition. The accused had, in all likelihood, already killed her in his department, if one looks at the photos, and how he carted her body in a dustman from her apartment to his vehicle. There is no doubt that his intention was to cover up the fact that she was dead and the cause of her death. <coughs> By burning the body of the deceased beyond recognition, he attempted to conceal the cause of her death and prevented that evidence from being placed before court. The court is, however, able, albeit by inference, to determine that the cause of her death was through stabbing by the accused. She could have died of nothing else. His actions did not succeed to effectively effectively defeat or obstruct the cause of justice. He did, however, attempt to do so. The remains were ultimately found and she was and he was brought to book. Prima facie, the following is evident from the state's version. Count one, that the accused assaulted the deceased on the date mentioned in the charge sheet with the intent to cause a grievous bodily harm. The seriousness of her injuries was clear from the fact that she had to be hospitalized, therefore. Two, that the deceased did not have a tendency to commit suicide, did not attempt it, did not commit it, and that the accused killed her. There was no possible justification for such killing. The defense did not plead any justification and one can come to no other conclusion but that it was unlawful. 
As far as his intent is concerned, one cannot look into the mind of the accused to determine whether he had the intention to kill her or not. One must look at the surrounding circumstances and try and establish from that whether he had the intention to kill her. He went about very meticulously to clean up after he killed her, except for a blood stain that was discovered. She was stabbed with a knife, and that statement by the accused is true because there is no other explanation for her death. Except the one by the uh, accused that the death was caused by a knife wound. The court is satisfied that the state has proved its case against the accused beyond reasonable doubt. He's found guilty of the following, count one, as charged. Count two, of murder. And count three, guilty of attempt to defeat or obstruct the cause of justice. <coughs> Will you uh, call me when you're ready? Are you ready for the proceeding, uh, the sentence proceedings? Zolilwela, <laughs> me,